One of the biggest things that we can all do as individuals to help fight the climate crisis is to dedicate our careers to climate action. And while you can go and become a climate scientist if you'd like, that's not the only path to climate action. So today I'm going to share 60 jobs that you can do in climate action that will make a difference. And the main thing to remember with all of this is it's not necessarily about what you do, it's more about why you do it and for whom. But I'll explain that later on in the video as well. These jobs are organized into eight different categories. Education, narrative, secondhand economy, firsthand economy, support, science, systems change, and implementation. Feel free to use the timestamps to jump around in the video and go to the sections that interest you most. Without further ado, here are 60 careers that can help fight the climate crisis. Careers in education is a great way to give people the knowledge they need to be part of the climate movement. And you don't need to be a climate science teacher or professor to do so. You could be a third grade teacher who incorporates sustainability or climate science into everyday curriculum. K-12 teacher, professor, trail guide, you would inspire a love for protecting natural spaces. Community outreach officer, career advisor. Narrative work influences the way that people view and talk about climate change. And while these jobs in themselves are not green careers, it's really what you do with it and how you make it into something sustainable that makes it one. Artist, museum curator. You could fight against the climate denial PR machine. Journalist, TV or film writer. Weave in climate storylines newspaper or magazine editor, public information officer. Often this is a governmental position and you would inform the community about the work your organization is doing. Author, podcaster. The next category is the secondhand economy. And this is a super interesting category because we're keeping things out of the landfill and really building that regenerative economy that we want to see. These are mostly trade professions and would be great for someone who really likes working with their hands or solving puzzles. Musical instrument repair, watch or clock repair, tailor, antiques or vintage dealer. In this position, you would be getting old things to those who want them. Computer service and repair technician. Next, we have the category of the first-hand economy. And making businesses more sustainable is definitely a route that I've considered in the past and a lot of people do consider. And this one I'm gonna give with a grain of salt. It's really about how much you can make the business change and how much the business has pressure to change. Fashion designer, product designer, big data engineer. In this position, you could reduce the energy usage of data centers. Supply chains analyst, sustainability officer. Next, we have a bigger category, which are support functions. And these are not green jobs in themselves, but make the work that we need to do in climate action possible. This is essential in supporting the movement behind the scenes. You can make these jobs green jobs by committing to work with people who value sustainability and or are committed to climate action. Web developer, graphic designer, app developer, financial advisor, with the rise of sustainable investing, this is an important role in shifting money from the fossil fuel economy. Economist. Clinical psychologist. Here you could work with people in exploring their climate anxiety or helping people in the movement get away from burnout. Travel agent. Advertising manager. Marketing manager. Video editor. Development manager. The development manager is someone who solicits money either from organizations or people to fund nonprofits. Operations assistant. Science. This is the category, obviously, that everyone thinks about when we think about climate change. And these are great careers for someone who's interested in this. But again, you don't have to choose one of these careers just to be involved in the climate movement. Biologist. Food scientist. Climatologist. GIS analyst. This position works with maps and data to create holistic pictures of an environment. Marine biologist. Oceanographer. Agronomist. Here you would work with crop outputs and trying to figure out how to make farming industry more sustainable. Geoscientist. System change. This is probably my favorite category personally. And these are the people who are putting into practice these laws and regulations to create a more sustainable society. Lawyer. Policy writer. Politician. Research associate. In this position, you would work behind the scenes for understanding policy. Community organizer. The last category is implementation. So once we have the solutions, we need to actually put them into action. And this category is great for 
people who want to be in the field and doing the work. Architect, civil engineer, landscape artist, energy engineer, refrigeration and air conditioning engineer. This one is super specific, but refrigeration is a very big climate problem. Urban planner, environmental engineer, emergency manager. In this job, you would plan and respond to natural slash non-natural disasters. Air quality engineer, solar engineer, zero waste program manager, construction worker. And here's a little bonus category of work that I consider green jobs and that is essential to a low carbon future. Care work, which includes anything from home health aid, nurse, childcare, maintenance work, gardener, cleaning, cooking, casework, refugee resettlement, housing specialists. So as you can see, there are so many options to orient your career toward a green one, and you can really do it with any background or any education level. As I mentioned in the beginning, the key point is to connect the work that you want to do, that you're passionate about or skilled about, and connect that somehow to climate work. Personally, my job in emergency management, I consider a green career because I'm working with people to figure out how they can best repair themselves when disasters occur, like wildfires. And I'm also working a bit on migration, which is obviously exacerbated by the climate crisis. What did I miss? Let me know in the comments what jobs you consider green careers or anything that I left out. I'm also really curious about what you do and if you consider it a green career. Thank you all for watching friends and I will see you in the next one.